Christmas fast approaching, one pro basketball player is working hard to bring faith back into the forefront. NBA star Jonathan Isaac launched a clothing brand called Unite Us and released the first ever NBA shoe with a visible Bible verse. Take a look. To live bold means standing up for what you believe in. What would it look like to give people the freedom to wear their values on their feet? and just have that freedom to say, this is who I am, this is what I stand for. Making a decision to be authentically you, no matter what anybody has to say about it, no matter what anybody thinks, no matter what you may face or come up against. Don't forget, Isaac received backlash for not wearing a BLM shirt and standing for the national anthem while his teammates took a knee in 2020. And now he's created a brand that proudly displays Christian values. Here now with us, Unitas founder and NBA player, Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan, I'm thrilled to have you. You were with Nike, you didn't re-sign with them, and then you had a conversation with your pastor. What happened? Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I, I told my pastor about me not having a shoe brand with me at the time, and he said, you should create your own sneaker. And I said, you are insane, that doesn't make any sense. And uh, uh, he compelled me to do it, and I just started to go down the road of what would it look like to actually create my own sneaker and have it be authentically me, like me be on the court with the shoe. And I couldn't do that without representing my faith in Jesus Christ. And so the Judah one was born with actual Bible verses on the sneaker. Jonathan, I love this so much. And apparently when you spoke with your teammates about your decision to stand back in 2020, you said, I'm not going to kneel. I'm not going to wear that T-shirt simply because I have another solution. What was your solution? Yeah, absolutely. It was again, that too was just about me being an individual and saying, look, I see everything that's going on. I see what happened to George Floyd. I see what's going on in our community and our society and in our world. But I believe that the only true answer to reconciliation, redemption between white and black people are just all the things that plague our society entirely is the gospel of Jesus Christ that actually changes the hearts of men like it changed mine. Amen to that. And your sneakers, there's the Judah one. There's going to be another sneaker with 2 Corinthians 4, 9, persecute, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. Why'd you choose that verse? Well, that's actually the first shoe that dropped. It's called Triumph. And I chose that verse because I've had my own personal bat battles with injuries, with being you know, maligned in the media, you know, the negative backlash that happened because of standing or not taking the vaccine or anything like that. I've had my fair share, but God has not left me. I'm still standing and, and God is just saying that he's continued to be with me. And I want other people when they put the sneaker on to feel that same way that God is with them, that we've been persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Jonathan, you are such an inspiration. I know you're working on kids' shoes. You need infant shoes because I want my son Nash to have a pair. Love that. The answer is Jesus Christ. Jonathan Isaac, thank you. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have tonight.